Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Sun TJ. Now, the recent chapter of the Dragon Ball Super Mario came out and there's some hype that Vegeta might unlock. Um, not Ultra Instinct. Not <laughs> For some reason, I'm salty that Vegeta's gonna unlock Instant Transmission over if he unlocked like Ultra Instinct or Kaioken. It's just something about it rubs me the wrong way. The B go off? Feel like I'm Goku. <laughs> So today's chapter, we learn Moro's third wish with Purunga, and we learn like you know that his ability to still take their their Genki is really OP. You see Goku and Vegeta struggling to maintain any transformation where they go from blue to God to, and for Goku's case, he goes down to three. Which I but like, the thing is, you can say all you want about Torotaro, but I'm glad that he's really like using the whole like Super Saiyan three is the precursor to Super Saiyan God. I actually like really enjoy that, even though I know it's never gonna happen in anime because they just say screw Super. Saying three in there, but yeah, we get to, we get to see more characters that I know are going to be in my top strongest manga characters. I don't know if they're going to be in the anime, but like I can tell who are like pretty top tier, like how one dude like knocked the crap out of Super Saiyan three Goku, or like you know what I mean. Like I, I can tell like who are pretty powerful in there. Um, you can tell that the um, the Grand Kai he's out of it after fighting Moro. So I just really like the dynamic where like. They're in danger, but not just because how powerful the enemy is. It's about how the enemy is outsmarting them with every move. Granted, is the wish for like to have his like his homies break free from the grant uh, from the, uh, the patrol a really great wish? I say yeah for his skill set because if he takes away Goku and Vegeta's powers and you just have like a crap ton of father come at them, then yeah, he can overwhelm them. But as like an overall wish, it's not like as powerful as like, you know, make me immortal on your Hozomasu or like uh, Garlic Jr. tip, you know what I mean? But yeah, like I really did enjoy this chapter overall. I just think that like this whole Vegeta is transmission thing is great storytelling. I'm not gonna lie. If he gets it, that's awesome for Vegeta fans. Like Vegeta's like my third favorite character in Dragon Ball. Like I just, I don't really have that many Vegeta shirts, but you know, I'm rocking, you know, I'm rocking all the looks right now. But I think it would just be really weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so used to Goku being that guy be like, grab my hand, Vegeta. <laughs> and Vegeta's gonna be like, nah, nah, I'm the Prince of All Saiyans. I'm going by my own. Like, <laughs> and Goku usually always gives the upper hand by Vegeta with the instant transmission. But I do like the way they did it though, because Vegeta's like contemplating, like, we're proud Saiyans, yet we always rely on this magic, this freaking, these tricks or whatever. And now he's gonna go to Yardrat. Now, here's the biggest thing. Look, here's the biggest thing. What if Vegeta goes to Yardrat and he can't learn the instant transmission? <laughs> that would be hilarious. But what, what about this? What if he learns something exclusive from the Yardras that Goku didn't learn? Like, I know the Yardras are known for teleportation, but what if the Yardras teach him something else? Huh? 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 Like, I really did like the whole like unique factor Vegeta was heading towards. Like, because Goku has Ultra Instinct, Vegeta has Blue Evolution. Granted, Ultra Instinct is way better than Blue Evolution, but it made him, you know, more unique. So, if Vegeta continues down the path, you know, like copying Goku, then like, hey. And everyone's saying like, well, Goku copies everyone else. Like, and? Like, but Vegeta's copying exclusively from Goku. Like, Goku has a variety to copy. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Like, you can't be mad at, like, you can't say Vegeta's a copier. I mean, Goku's a copier when Vegeta copies everything that Goku does. So. That's my ordeal here. Like, I do understand that everyone's like, you know, kind of frustrated that Goku never teaches anyone any of these techniques. He doesn't teach people the Kaioken because it's really hard to learn. He doesn't teach them the Spirit Bomb and everything like that. So I get it, but it just feels like one of Goku's exclusives is being taken away from from his rival. Like, I'm okay with that with Goku Black because it's literally Goku. I'm okay with that Perfect Cell because he is using cells. I mean, using like Goku's DNA for that. Like. And Kid Buu, like, Kid Buu was just wild and he was, like, gonna die anyway. And just, like, I feel like once Vegeta learns this, is gonna be a mainstay. Like, he's gonna be doing, like, Warp Big Bang Attack or Warp Final Flash. Like, because that's just Goku's signature, man. Like, it's just so weird. But, again, I don't really have any too many problems with it. I just think it's hilarious. Uh, let, me know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. 
I hope I made a cool little, like, you know, instant transmission, like, enter in. I don't know. Um, so would you guys like the shirt and everything? I love wearing anime shirts. I even got the Matara earring right here. I got two of them, but I, I think it only looks cool with one. I tried two. Look kind of off. Um, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay videos. I know when I upload those, I lose subscribers mad. <laughs> but, like, I got to try new things, man. I'm a content creator. I love making content. Uh, thank you guys for supporting all the videos with my face in it. Really enjoying that. Uh, let me know any Top Strongs videos y'all want me to do. Actually, any top, like some old Top Strongs videos y'all want me to do with face cam because I think it's really fun to actually like put my dialogue in. Granted, do I need a script? Probably, but still, I like I like talking off the cuff. That's just me. So yeah, having a fun time, man. Hope you guys are having an awesome summer. Sun to peace. Love you all. Love you.